there, Ramon Osa with you here, OsaTennis360.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to hit a kick serve step by step. But before we get started, if you're a competitive tennis player and you want to win more matches, then I got a free PDF for you down below in the description called The Five Biggest Mistakes That Competitive Tennis Players Make When Trying to Close Out Those 50-50 Matches. And you can download that for free by clicking the link in the description. All right, so the kick serve or the top spin serve, we're going to use these interchangeably today. There is a slight difference. We won't get into the minutia. The first thing we got to understand is what we're trying to do when we hit this serve. And the goal number one, obviously, is to get the ball in. And this serve does a great job of that because it goes high up over the net and is going to have a lot of dip because of the topspin. The second thing we want to do is make it very difficult for our opponents to hurt us on it, right? At the very worst, we want to be neutral. And ideally, we want to put them on the defensive. And we can do that by moving the ball out of your opponent's ideal strike zone, up around his shoulders or higher. Okay, so the first thing we got to be able to do is create topspin on the ball. And to do that, just grab a ball just like this, place it above your head, and you're going to take your hitting hand, which for me is my right hand, and you're going to practice rolling the ball up the back of your hand just like that. Okay, so then once you can do that, take your stance, put the ball up above your head, and then just roll it off of your hand just like that. What we're trying to do is create a lot of top spin and create a lot of height on the ball just like that. Okay, look out below. All right, so we're feeling pretty good with that. Now let's grab the trusty racket. And what we want to do is find a good grip first, which for today, we'll use the Continental. There's a little wiggle room here. But if you're a righty, what you want to do is count bevel number two. This is bevel one, this is bevel two, etc. And we want to take the uh, index knuckle, base knuckle right here, and place it on bevel number two. Obviously, as a lefty, you would just flip that around. Now, once you got your grip, we're going to choke up on the handle here just to make it easier to control for you, okay? So, see, I always got your back. So, what we do is take the, the ball, place it in front of you around 12 o'clock, and we just want to practice rolling the ball up the back of the strings just like that, just like we did before, and then practice just spinning the ball up into space, right? And just spin it off into space just like that. Once you can do that, we'll go to the next step. All right, so it's about to get weird here. We're going to come to our knees, and what we're going to do is line up our knees to about a 45-degree angle into the court, okay? So if you see my knees are going kind of right at a diagonal along the service box here. And what we're going to do is imagine where that point of contact that we just did was, okay? So that's going to be where we try to toss the ball. And that's really important. If you need help with your toss, I got a, a video a link to down below called How to Fix Your Toss in Five Minutes or Less, and I'll link to that down below. But for now, we're just going to toss the ball so it lands more or less right on top of our head, and then we're just going to brush the ball just like we did before and hold the finish up in the sky just like this. Okay, and so that ball's got tons of spin. And you notice I hold the finish up into the sky. That guarantees that we're swinging up on the ball. And pow. And that's how you do it. And if those didn't go in, we'll Photoshop them in later. All right, we're off to the races. So the next thing we're going to do is get up on your feet and do the exact same thing we just did. Again, choked up on the handle just because it's easier to control. And line up your body so you're going towards your target. Okay, so I'm going to imagine I'm serving into the ad court. I'm going to line up my body so I'm going right towards my target, which in this case is right at you, right at the camera. I wouldn't hit you, by the way. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is toss the ball so it's right up on top of our head again, maybe slightly into the court, and then just go up, hit the ball, and hold the finish with, the, with your hand up in the sky, just like this. Hiya. Okay, that's all we got to do. Here we go again. Boom. And that ball's got a lot of top spin. Right now, we're not worried about if that ball's kicking up a whole lot. We're just trying to get the shape of the ball to be that nice arc that we're looking for. We can speed up the racket head a little bit later. So again, we start from some version of the trophy position and high up into the sky, a lot of spin, and just hold the finish just like that. All right, so it looked pretty weird if you went up hitting kick serves and you always finished like this. People thought you were like leading the cavalry or something. So what we want to do is let the racket naturally do what it wants to do, which is go off to the same side that you hit from and let the racket just dangle here uh, in the sky just like that. So as I go through these reps, that's exactly what we're doing. 
line up our body. Here we go, uh, trophy position, up into the sky, and then just let the racket just fall off to the side just like that. Okay, here we go again, let's do it. And let it fall off to the side. If it's a little bit mechanical at first, that's okay. Eventually this will all be happening naturally for you. Here we go again and just let the ball fall. Again, right now we're not really concerned about where the ball's going, but we are making sure that we're creating that good spin and that good shape on the ball, which is gonna be important. Oh, that was a terrible toss. <laughs> Let's, maybe we'll cut that one out. Here we go again, and just let the ball fall, I'm sorry, let the racket fall off to the side just like that. Once you can do that, believe it or not, you've got just about everything you need to start hitting some pretty nice kick serves. But let's go on, let's continue this progression, and we'll do it together. Now just as a word of caution, as we start moving back and as we start creating more of the full picture, there's going to be a tendency for you to want to pull the ball down and actually end up hitting down on the ball. The hardest thing to get on the kick serve, if you haven't done it a lot, is to feel comfortable swinging up and high and brushing that ball. So practice that last step a lot so that you really feel confident in it before we go on. But once you've done that, come on back. We're in the middle of the grip now. We're just gonna keep moseying back, starting in the same position, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Trophy position, up goes the toss, and we're gonna let the racket fall off to the right just like that. Here we go again. And these balls are got tons of spin. They're dropping into the court like a boomerang and they're bouncing up nice and high even though we're not using a whole lot of uh, racket speed yet. Okay, here we go again. Find that good uh, trophy position. Boom. All right, and that ball's kicked up about 12 feet. I'm not exaggerating. Here we go. Okay. so. These are the reps that are gonna get you there, by the way, and unfortunately, we can't learn this by just watching this video. The video is gonna help you, but it really is about the reps, and the more you do this step by step, the more you'll get that kick serve that you want, and the less your opponent is gonna like you for it. All right, so we're just about there. We're at the baseline now. We're gonna be all the way at the bottom of the handle. We're gonna start again from the trophy position, and here we go, toss the ball up. That was a terrible one. Let's try again. And it's really important to understand that not every rep is going to be perfect, okay? So I'm not going to edit that one out, uh, mostly out of laziness. Now, here we go again. Trophy position. And let the racket just fall off to the side just like that. Let's just do a couple more here. Trophy position. We've got our body lined up. Again, I'm a little stiff, mostly because I'm probably a little nervous on camera. But here we go again. And again, that ball is jumping up like crazy, okay? It's really important to understand that it's not necessarily about hitting this kick serve really hard. It's about getting that ball high up over the net. Because if we didn't change anything else and the ball's dropping in from, say, 30 feet, well, it's going to bounce a lot higher. It's also going to change the pace that your opponent is used to with your first serve. So go for height over the net and really give that uh, ball a lot of hang time and you'll be off to the races. All right, the gardeners are here, so it might get a little noisy, but the last thing we really need to do is incorporate our full motion. Now, I'm not gonna go into a lot of depth here because this is a whole nother animal, but what you wanna do is understand the swing path of the racket. And instead of a flat serve, where the racket is coming up and making contact flush with the ball, now the racket's obviously traveling up the back of the ball and the swing path is gonna be along the uh, baseline here. So as we go through our shadow swings, we're gonna do our swings and let the racket fall off to the side. And main thing when you're doing your shadow swings is to be smooth, to be rhythmic, and do everything exactly the way you wanna do it uh, when you hit your full serve. So if you've got a little coil in your toss, which hopefully you do, you're going to add that in here. And we're going to allow the swing path to go along parallel to the baseline just like that and focus on the finish. All right, so the last thing we got to do is add the full motion in. Now, I'm not going to be demonstrating this today because I'm still rehabbing a lower back. By the way, make sure you're still doing your conditioning and 
your, your fitness stuff. It really does make a difference on your ability to execute not only this serve, but all of your shots. And I learned that lesson the hard way. But you would just add in your full motion now and practice getting that ball up high up over the net with a ton of spin and really dropping it in like a boomerang. Thanks so much for watching this video. I had a great time making it for you. If you found it helpful, please click the like button and let me know in the comments what you thought how your kick serve is going, how else I can help you, and I'd be happy to do that for you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss next week's video, and I'll see you soon.